Kenya Defense Forces nationwide recruitment started today. KDF looking for an estimated 6,000 recruits. But the Vice Chair of the Chief of the Defense Forces, Lieutenant General Francis Omondi Ogola, warning against malpractices to influence the outcome. Ogola revealed that two people have so far been arrested and over 20 servicemen are facing court martial charges for irregularities in previous recruitments. And as Martin Munene reports, prospective recruits turned up at various centers across the country. Hundreds of youth across the country showed up for the first day of the KDF recruitment exercise, hopeful for a chance to join the forces. Many are showing up early, ready to face the set selection criteria. And in the open fields, they met officers who would determine their fate. The exercise that was launched by Vice Chief of Defense Forces, Lieutenant General Francis Omondi Ogola, has roped in players outside the military to enhance transparency. This multi-agency approach aims to ensure that the process is transparent and guarantees that the objective to conduct open, free and fair recruitment is achieved. Ogola warning that the law will take its course on those who will attempt to cheat their way in, just like to those in the past. Currently, 21 service personnel are going through court martial process as a result of recruitment malpractice. In different regions across the country, the exercise went on without hitches. In northeastern region, there was a low number of female candidates turning up for the exercise, while in Nyeri, the complaints were of no female candidates being picked, even as the military says they are working to up the numbers of female officers. We had two ladies, and the other one was eliminated by the criteria that is in place. We explained to her, and uh, she understood. The Uyambayamebaki, she's the only one that has remained up to now. Doing our best to reach the gender requirement. I can assure you, we have been progressing. 2019, we recruited about 11% female and the rest male. 2020, it increased to 15% female. The last recruitment in January, it was 17%. We are hoping to reach 18 to 20%. And as the recruitment continues, of concern, however, for the military is the alarming number of candidates who make the cut in the fields only to fail drug tests. We cannot take you in the military if you are taking hard drugs. The exercise is on till the 26th of November. Martin Monene, Citizen TV.